What we're looking at here is some flashing that would have been pre-bent. You can actually buy metal and bend it yourself. And this is actually what I think happened to someone who recently sent me an email. They're trying to figure out why the bottom of their plywood is damaged. And I'm showing you this right here. This is what I drew, but I'm guessing that they had a piece of uh, metal and they bent it here also, which would have created more of a problem. I mean, it's hard to get a nice straight corner. I recommend if you need any type of metal um, to go contact a sheet metal fabrication place someone who can do this and all of these aren't big manufacturing shops most of the time you can usually find them in your hometown and uh, provide them with the dimensions you need for your sheet metal and have them make it custom custom made I don't recommend bending something yourself we used to do this with lead they used to let us we used to have these uh, rolls of lead let's just say it was six inches wide and we used to bend it all bend it around stuff and uh, but it's lead it's not something you're going to be using anymore so the question was how the plywood was getting damaged and I, i'm going to take the rest of the time in the video to answer that question this would probably be the most common method you would have a piece of sheet metal that would go over the foundation and uh, then you could put your paper and plywood over it um, just something like this now most of the time what I like to see and I'm going to show you a picture of it uh, in the video is a little angle here now I can't tell you how many times the Z bar is actually bent with a little angle here but people professionals even myself I'm guilty of it we push it down we want a nice flat tight corner in here we end up pushing it down and sometimes when you push it down you end up pushing this part out so keep that in mind when you're installing sheet metal something like this I'd like to see in an angle too if you have um, your siding and I have plywood siding here but the same thing would, would occur with lap siding if it was going to be made out of a material that could rot now what we have here is I left about an eighth of an inch gap. I just wanted to give you an idea. I drew some water in here. Uh, this would be about a sixteenth of an inch of water. This would be possible. I've seen water accumulate on level areas plenty of times and something like this could happen. But if it's if you're in the right climate and it's drying out fast enough, something like this isn't going to be a problem. However, something like this will, and you can see here, I just went ahead and bent the metal up to give you an idea about uh, how water could accumulate if it's not able to drain off. And this is actually the problem for, or the reason why the person who sent me the email gave me the idea for this video in the first place. This is actually their problem. They went in, whoever, and they tried to bend the metal around um, and they're creating a cavity. They're actually creating an area for water to accumulate. The water is not draining off. It's actually accumulating and uh, who knows for how many, you know, who knows how long the water sitting and again I don't know what type of a climate this individual is in but uh, you could only imagine if you built something like this in an area where it rarely rained uh, where there where there wasn't much moisture in the air you weren't going to have a problem with moisture you could you could uh, this would be a problem but this something like this is going to be a problem in areas where it does rain enough to create a problem like this now let's take a look at something I would like to see and this of course is the sheet metal with a little angle in it and we can put the paper over the building um, whatever type of waterproofing or water resistant material we're going to use and then of course our siding and keep the siding off of the bottom I like to see at least a quarter of an inch you know uh, especially if it's sloping if, if it's going to be level you're going to use level metal a quarter of an inch would probably be fine also um, and you can see right here that the water any water that gets behind the siding is going to roll off 
any water that gets on the front is going to roll off the front and down. So something like this is nice. If you can keep the quarter inch trim all the way around, great. If not, put the plywood on and you could always nail a piece of trim over. Um, just make sure that the plywood trim is up at least a uh, quarter of an inch off of the ground. Don't forget that if you're using plywood, and this doesn't occur with lap siding, but if you're using plywood, this is also going to provide the building with some type of shear resistance. And if that's the case, you're going to need to nail the plywood into the bottom plate. You're going to need to have it, make sure that this isn't coming up too far. I would imagine you need to have at least an inch um, here. I would imagine three quarters of an inch would be pushing it. Three quarters of an inch might be acceptable, but I'd like to see at least an inch where the plywood, so you wouldn't want to be more than a half inch off of the bottom of the plate if you were using a two by four that was an inch and a half wide. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, uh, this uh, video is the result of a question someone asked. They sent it in an email. You can send your questions to me. I will be answering them as long as I possibly can. I would imagine if it gets a little too overwhelming, I will have to stop. But uh, right now, feel free to send me your questions and you can find the email address at the website, and that is homebuildingandrepairs.com. And if for some reason you visit uh, the contact page on the website and it says that we are no longer answering questions, that should give you your clue that you will have to find your information somewhere else. So anyway, enjoy this free service as long as you possibly can. Send me your questions and give me some more great ideas for videos.